Hi, Henry. Hi, how are you? I'm good, thank you. First okay. question, big question. Yeah. You've just started doing men's work. Explain to me that decision and why you wanted to do that. Um, well, um, it felt like the right time, really. It felt like the right time for us as a brand or as a company. And, like, we kind of, we've got our shit together a little bit in terms of where we're at with women's wear and what we were doing so far. So it felt like the right time to add another layer on top. Um, and also just I think the men's wear market's just got so much more exciting in the last three or four years. I think since LCM started and just watching that grow into like this major event that's like really important now in terms of the fashion calendar and um, wanting to be a part of that as well. I think it definitely feels like there's a uh, time to create some product for the House of Holland boy mm-hmm. out there instead of just the girls. And you've done it in a very modern way. That's what I was interested by because it is available to buy immediately. And obviously that's kind of this constant discussion about high fashion is how, you know, the system is not sustainable. We're seeing clothes that aren't for sale kind of until six months later. And you've really kind of said like, no, I'm not going to engage with that. I'm going to do it in a really modern way. Explain to Mm. me that that thought process. Well, that is something that um, I decided on really early. And to be honest, the only way we could do that was with something new. I'm still trying to work out how to do it with women's wear, which is already up and running, and it's an absolute logistical nightmare. But um, I think that partly because I think men shop differently to women, and even less so, which they see something on the catwalk, they're not going to keep it in their brains and then come into store and sort of chase up when it's around, landing in store in the same way certain women are. Mm. Um, but also I just think, yeah, I think every season I get like increasingly frustrated with the amount of A, money that we spend and um, press we generate and sort of traction we get and social media and traditional media that you can't actually monetize, you can't actually um, sort of turn into transactions. You, you know, constantly we're posting all this information about our fashion shows, like teasing the fashion show, teasing the collection, then the day of the show, we're like, look one, look two, look three. (laughs) And people are like, how do I get this? When can I get it? And you're like, really quietly sort of whisper, in four months, come back. (laughs) Um, and, uh, (laughs) And the calendar works as well that when we're delivering a collection to store, it's a, the exact same week, pretty much, that we're le- releasing another collection to press. So we're trying to get one section of, like we're trying to get people excited about what we're releasing to the press at the same time as trying to sell a collection that almost feels out of date because you're already promoting the next one, mm-hmm. where you're trying to get people to part with cash for the last one. So I think this model just kind of works that everything that we're shouting about right now is this collection and this is our first ever men's wear collection come and look at it look at the press look at the pictures look at the reviews and then go and buy it and so Mm -hmm. whenever people are sort of contacting us this week saying the men's show was amazing when can i get it and we're like right now here's Mm -hmm. a website here's a link (laughs) Um, and it just feels like a more uh realistic way of doing things and sort of the way that people um I mean, we, we work in the fashion industry, so we understand the system a lot more. But I think a lot of consumers don't, and they don't kind of get that. You know, yeah, they don't takes, get what they can't have it straight away. Yeah, they don't get that it takes four months to produce a collection, and we only produce what the buyers choose to buy. You know, it's not the same. So they're just like, they see it and they want it. So mm. why not let them have it? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and tell me yeah. a bit more about the collection itself, because one of the things that got a lot of kind of attention... Um, with the collaboration that you've done um, with Martin Parr. Tell me a bit about that as well and tell me about kind of the sort of process behind the collection and the garments themselves. Yeah, sure. So the way we approached it, because it was our first ever one, was a little bit more like building a wardrobe. So we kind of decided who the House of Holland man was, what he does, what he was into, like what kind of things he grew up with. And that was kind of like, you know, this football lad kind of terrorist culture mixed with like elements of rave and casuals and you know, all these different street cultures that kind of influenced his look. Um, and then we kind of sort of looked at each individual garment as a sort of key, as like key items in his wardrobe. So we were like, okay, if he was to buy an overcoat, what would it look like? Um, what does his biker jacket look like? Does it have sort of, you know, sort of different style lines? Does it have flashes of color? Does it have different kind of sport influences in there? <laughs> um, and then also just because 
it was my first menswear collection. I had a lot more personal connection to the pieces, and it kind of a lot of my uh, youth and kind of personal connections to things growing up sort of creeped in there. Um, and then that fed in perfectly to the collaboration with Martin because I wanted to go back to my hometown and shoot it in and around lots of locations where I grew up and kind of put my sort of London menswear look into the setting of actually where it came from, sort of where it came from out of my head type thing. Mm. Um, and Martin was just the perfect collaborator for that in terms of the way that he, the tone of his pictures, the way that he captures kind of real authentic British kind of life in a way and he's also one of my favorite photographers and it was a, definitely a bucket list thing for me to work with him so it was seems like the perfect time i can imagine and tell me are you pleased with the response yeah really thrilled really thrilled just like really sure that people are now understanding the concept of you know selling it now showing it now because we sold this collection in january and we had to try and get the buyers buy-in without any imagery, without a show, without any press. Um, so now we've done the, the show and they've understood how it works and hopefully that can kind of help us push that next season and grow from it. So yeah, really happy. Oh, well, congratulations. It was very good. Thanks, Thank Henry. you very much. <laughs> Thanks.